Hello, I am Channa Bankapur. I am a trainer at Promostra.in. Uh, I am going to solve yesterday's problem from um, September Lead Coding Challenge. And today's problem has already been solved and uploaded. Please take a look. So yesterday's problem goes this way. There are N gas stations along a circular, circular route. And uh, each gas station or say ith gas station has gas of I amount of gas, some unit the liters and uh, so cost of i represents uh, the 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 amount of gas needed to go from ith gas station to the next gas station right i plus one um, so what we need to figure out is is it possible to start from a gas station and uh, go all the way uh, in, in circular route and then come back to the same gas station so obviously if, at, at some gas station, if we don't have enough gas to reach the next gas station, uh, that route is not possible, right? So and what they say is if they, there might not be a solution, uh, but if there is a solution, there is, it, it is unique is what they're saying, All right? Now, how to solve it? So let's try to understand with a simple example. Actually, this example is not very helpful. So I'm going to go with an example I have prepared, uh, which covers you know, the kind of cases which are helpful for understanding the problem and also getting a solution. Right. So here I have uh, 10 gas stations. So the, the top row indicates uh, the amount of gas available there and cost of each uh, you know travel from I, I to I five plus one. In this example, is five. Um, so and I have. I have come up with a third line here to indicate uh, the gain in terms of gas. That means, uh, so in, in the first gas station, there are six liters of gas available and the cost of going to the next gas station is only five. So when I reach the next one, I, I'm, I'll be left with one liter of gas, right? So that's a gain kind of thing for me. So I keep that and that's gonna accumulate, right? So whenever there is not enough gas in that gas station, that that whatever the uh, uh, gas left out or, or the gained, it can be the, can be used then, right? But uh, the constant is at, at any point of time, even after whatever the collected gas and, and the available gas at that gas station, if they don't add up to um, the cost of that station, then uh, that route does not actually work, all right? So we need to figure out, is it possible to start from any one of the gas stations and then, uh, and never go to negative, right? So let's see if I start from the first gas station, how does it work, right? So initially I have uh, a zero, a zero amount of gas available here. And uh, so in the f after first gas station, the cost of reaching the next one is five units and there is six units available, so gain is one. So when I reach the first gas station, I, I have one liter of gas available already, right? As in it's left out. That is the gain I have, I have got. And uh, again, the first, the gas second gas station also has one extra uh, unit of gas. So when I reach the third one, I'll I'm left with two units of gas. But uh, look at the third one. Uh, there are only two units of gas available at that gas station, but the cost of going to the next one is five. Two plus available two is only four. So when you do that, uh, you are going to go back to a credit of minus one. So I went to minus one. This indicates we cannot start from the first gas station, all right? But yeah, let's just go ahead and see how does this graph work. Uh, so if I go anywhere, uh, you know, uh, underwater, like negative, so that means the solution does not work, right? But I'm just, you know, continuing with this kind of graph and try to understand the problem well or come up with a better solution. So uh, let's say minus one. So minus one is still acceptable, at least for me, uh, for now. So, uh, and fourth gas station again has two extra units. Uh, so it's gonna go back to, uh, go up to one. And fifth one has three extra units, so we go up to four. So there are four extra units left out. And then uh, the following gas station has deficit of four units. So it's gonna go down to zero. And the next one has a deficit of two. So it'll go down to minus two, right? Again, that is not something allowed. Uh, but after that, there is one un unit you can gain, so it'll go, it'll go up to minus one, and then uh, two units gain to go to plus one. And the last station has again a deficit of one, but we have that one, we go to zero, right? So we kind of reach zero, that means uh, 
the amount of gas in all the stations put together is same as the amount of cost uh, at, at each of these gas stations or the, the cost of reaching from I to I plus one. That is equal. So there should be some solution. So obviously if this sum, uh, whatever the, the, the gas, overall gas sum is uh, lesser than the cost. So we won't have the solution at all, right? So that is at least uh, clear. But if there is, if, if the total amount of gas is greater than or equal to um, the total cost, uh, do we always have a solution? I think that is something we'll, we're gonna realize there is always such a solution, right? So the way I'm gonna look at this one is, See, instead of starting from say the, the first gas station, what if, what if I start from the second one? So uh, in this case, after uh, reaching the second gas station, I have a gain of one. But now if I start from second, I'm gonna start fresh here, right? So if I start fresh, uh, that means I'm at zero actually. I'm, so uh, instead of being at, starting at one, I'm gonna start at now, uh, start at zero, right? So zero here. So after from, from here, when I go to the second gas station, because of gain, I'm gonna gain one. And from there, there is a deficit of three, so I'm gonna go down to minus two, right? So obviously starting from second gas station is also not gonna work, right? And if you just see how does this graph work, it will just you know go along the same graph, just that you know it's always one lesser than this. We are gonna reach minus three here and minus two here and zero here and then we go to minus one but we started with the second gas station so there is a gain of first uh, one at the first gas station we will go to zero here right uh, so this is how the, the whole you know plot looks like right but obviously this also doesn't work because at some point we went into negative right so that is not allowed now let's look at what happens uh, if i start from the third gas station so again i had a gain of two earlier uh, in the first attempt. But now if I start from third gas station, I have a gain of zero to start with, but third one itself is, has a deficit of minus three, I'm gonna go to minus three. So starting from third is also not a good idea, right? It, it's not gonna work. Now, what if I start from fourth, right? So starting from fourth looks like a good idea because there is already a gain there and we, we keep going up. So this is how it's gonna look like. We start from zero instead of minus one. So it looks like it's a good idea because we are always ahead a little bit from that, you know, the original plot. So when I go to the next one, I have a gain of five now instead of, uh, uh, you know, just uh, uh, four. And then, uh, so it's always one ahead of that, you know, white line in a way. But, but look at this one, there, there was minus two here. So we are gonna come down to minus one. So that means this is also not gonna work because we went into negative at some point of time, right? Now, um, if you go further from here, uh, so again, you must have realized by now, if I start with anything else, like, you know, if I start with, uh, instead of say, we tried with uh, first gas station, second, third, and fourth was looking a little promising, but that also didn't work. Now, if I start from fifth, fifth is not gonna be better than fourth, right? The reason is, uh, I already had plus one here, but if I start from zero here, I'm always gonna be lesser. So I will definitely go to minus three at some point here, which is not useful, right? So uh, that's why I don't want to go try with any of these things, but look at, there is one good opportunity here at a gas station, which led to minus two. Because we are at a deficit of minus two, if I start from this point of time, which is like, you know, the deficit is, 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 is not there. So we're starting at zero. And my curve always is gonna be two points ahead of uh, the original curve, right? So this, this is how it's gonna look like. Let me just show that in green color. So from zero, I went into one because there was a gain of one and then there was a gain of two, so I went to three. And then there was a deficit of four, two, so I went into two. So that was the last station, right? That's where I went, went to two. Now again, it's a circular thing. So I'll look at the first station. So there is a gain of one here to three and then another gain of one to four. And then there's a deficit of three here. So we'll, we'll drop down to one and then gain of two to will go to three and uh, another gain of three will actually go up to six. And then there is a deficit of four, so that will bring it down to two. And then another deficit of two minus two is gonna reduce it to zero. But if you look at this, uh, whatever the curve I have written in green color, it never went to negative. <clears throat> so that means it works. In other words, 
whenever uh, the total amount of gas is greater than or equal to total amount of cost, there is always a solution because look at the curve, whatever in, in white color, whatever the curve we have, if I kind of shift this by two, so if I put this as the origin line instead of now um, zero, that means all the values I'm gonna start. So in other words, wherever the lowest point is there, if I start from there, the curve is always gonna be uh, greater than or equal to zero. It will never go to negative, right? So that kind of you know, gives good two, two points at least. One point is if uh, the total gas is greater than or equal to cost, then there is always a solution, right? And the solution happens to start from this point, which is the deepest point here. Right. So wherever, if you just keep adding these numbers from starting from zero itself, uh, whatever the, the deepest point you have, if you start from there, the whole curve is going to be above. That means all we are trying to find out is what is that offset where we can actually you know, uh, move this origin line or the x-axis from zero to down that point. Right. So that is what we need to figure out at which point that happens. And that is the station I'm going to start with. Right. So with that, uh, I think we are ready to code. So let me quickly code that. Uh, I'll just close a few of these. Okay, let me code that. So the idea is very, very simple now. So all we need to do is find the deepest point and along the line, we also keep track of the gain uh, we have got so far, right? So the total uh, or cumulative gain or whatever. So let's say total gain uh, to start with it is zero, right? Uh, and then we go from station to station. Every time we are going to get that gain. Gain is always uh, gas of I minus cost of I, right? So I'll go from each one station to next one. So I'll use an index here because I need to access both vectors, gas and cost. So as long as I is lesser than size of gas, uh, so I plus plus, and I'm going to go this way, right? At every point, gas of I minus cost of I is going to be that uh, gain, right? At that point, right? But total gain or whatever the cumulative gain so far is going to be at this point. So what uh, along, uh, other than finding this one, what else we need to keep track of is what is that lowest gain what we got, right? So lowest gain um, and uh, because we need to keep track of that so that, you know, if there is a still lower point, we need to update it. And along with that, I need to know the index of that. That means that is going to be the new starting point or the starting gas station. So maybe I'll just call it a start, right? So initial start point is, is zero. So this is what I'm going to call, right? So every time my total gain or the cumulative gain is going to be um, added by this number, which is gas of I minus uh, cost of I, all right? So my total gain is, is, is there. So now I need to see if this total gain at some point goes below lowest gain, I'm gonna update that lowest gain. So if total gain at some point is lesser than the lowest gain, uh, then I'm gonna update the lowest gain, right? All right, so yeah, not just updating that, I also need to update uh, the the start new starting point. So new starting point is going to be one more than that i. So because that is where we are, we have entered negative. So we want to start from the next next gas station. So um, I update the the start point also, right? Now when I complete this whole thing, all I need to make sure is whether total gain is non-negative. Um, if it is not, if it is negative, obviously the answer is going to be minus one, right? Because that is what they are asking us. If total uh, gain is less than zero, I'm gonna return minus one. If it is not less than zero, if it is non-negative, then we are gonna, uh, at the starting from this, this point is what we need to, uh, we need to start the journey because that is the point at which there is a lowest gain and we need to start from that point, right? Let's see, uh, this obviously looks like a very simple code. Let's see whether it works. Uh, there is some compiler compilation error. That's because uh, I think I have some typo in my variable names. Total gain, I'm using capital G here. Uh, let's see. 
right it worked so let me just work with uh, the kind of example i came up with uh, so there i had 10 gas stations and the values goes this way um 6 6 uh, 2 uh, 7 8 1 3 6 7 4 1 3 6 7 4 right and uh, these values are all, all always five so i'm just gonna copy this one right so if you observe what matters is that you know gain at that station so that's why i just took the cost as fixed so that i can only manipulate the gain part okay right it worked so the answer is seven so if i start from seventh station that is the place uh, which is going to basically complete the whole cycle right let's see if it works yep, it is accepted so it worked all right so if you see here yeah this worked and it pretty it works pretty fast look at the time time complexity here so we have a single loop uh, of, of size n and uh, every time we just you know get some you know one subtraction one addition one comparison and in the worst case another assignment and an addition so but all of them put together is is just constant so this works in linear time it's just one pass and then we figure it out right so that's all folks uh, so if you have any suggestions any comments on this uh, approach and if you know any better approach please let me know right thanks for watching